Jim here in Ashland. Today we're outside of Jacksonville and we're checking out the East Applegate Ridge Trail. This trail is five miles in each direction and coming from Sterling Creek Road you got a nice two and a half miles of ridgeline hiking and then after that the next two and a half miles you run down a pretty significant slope so be aware of that so how do we get here it's a 45 minute drive from Ashland Plaza you'll head north out of town towards Medford you'll jump on the 5 freeway right here get off at the Phoenix exit Try to left turn there, right back onto the 99, Route 99. When you hit South Stage Road, you're going to turn left. Head through the orchards and such, and there you hit Griffin Creek and turn, that's right, left turn, not Jacksonville, left. A little while, you turn right on uh, West Griffin Creek. See that little farm stand to the left, usually there. Head to the countryside for a while. You're going to hit the uh, Sterling Creek Road. You're going to turn left there towards Buncombe. You got a few miles through the countryside here, and then you're going to look look for this sign. You're, it's going to be hard to see. Keep your eyes open. It is not huge. It's a dirt road. You say, hey, it's blurry. I can barely read it. That's right. When you're driving by, East Applegate Ridge Trail is going to be like that. And bingo, you're on this dirt road. There'll be some places that look like trails that aren't, and you will dead end into the parking lot, which is significant. It's a real parking lot. Look at that. first two and a half miles is mostly just gorgeous open ridge. That second two and a half miles dips into the shade, but also has a pretty significant elevation change, so be aware of that. Oh sure, you can park on the other side, come off the 238, but why didn't we do that? Because you start with a hill, who wants that? Well, there you go, the East Applegate Ridge Trail. It's a 10 mile out and back, that's uh, five miles each direction. We started at Sterling Mine Road today and came over here to Route 238, and then we're gonna go back. Uh, it's above Roosh here, this entrance here. Both have uh, decent sized parking lots. I'm sure they fill up in the weekends, and. Uh, a nice day. Uh, speaking of nice days, it's the middle of March right now, so it's delightful. Uh, if you come here in the middle of summer, uh, the word ridge, if you Google it, Google will come back and say, don't you mean uh, scorching, deadly, hot, sunny, no shade? And because uh, that's what you're going to get in the summer. There's a nice mild chunk in the middle that's uh, pretty shady, but uh, but you know what you get with sun? You get views. Views for days. Wildflowers for months. I don't know how that works. And then, uh, uh, so this is just a good trail. You gotta come up and do this in you know, the right time of day, not the right time of year. Bring some water, sunscreen, hat, all that stuff. Hey, this is Jim from AshtonTrails.com saying, stay safe, spread out.